there's some things that I believed for a long time that were holding me back. And I want you, and I want to share those with you because once I got over them and once you get past them, it's going to open the door for success. What you focus on will multiply. So if all you do is focus on problems, what do you think you'll get? If you only focus on solutions, what do you think appears? Solutions. It's not the big things, the big acts that you do. The truth is it's little hinges that swing big doors. For you to write more business, to make more money and get more free time, it's just the little stuff you do. It's not about flipping everything upside down when you go to the office on Thursday or tomorrow. It's not about that. It's about focusing on these small things. You need the right environment. Because when you have the right environment, you get the most out of people. And this was the most powerful message. And I want to thank you, Craig, because when you said this, this really hit home for me. And I learned a lot from it. When he told me and looked me dead in the eye, and when a guy who has got a $20 million book tells you something, you listen, right? I had an agent I was talking to on the phone. He's like, man, I hate going to work every day. I said, why? He said, because this person's in my office. I said, why don't you fire them? What are you doing? Why are you complaining going to your own office? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> it's your name on the wall. Remember that? How well do they connect? So the analogy I like to use, it's like we're in a conversation and it's more like we're, I'm playing football and I'm throwing a question out there they're catching it and running with the question. It's not like a tennis game where I ask them a question, hey, where are you from? Texas. And that's all they give you. Do you see, it, the, the conversation doesn't go back and forth, they can open up. A great sales star, when you ask them a question about how they grew up, about their family, will tell you, will open up, and they, they're like one of those people, you ever met somebody and you feel like you've known them your whole life and you just met, you just have that connection? A great sales star can connect with somebody older, younger, different age, different race, different sex, because that's just who they are. So you can ask them questions and they are an open book. Agents, we have a responsibility to our people about creating an environment of encouragement as opposed to criticism. We get a lot of credit when you're an agent. You got a lot of power but you also have a lot of responsibility. People work better under an air of encouragement than criticism. It, that is just flat. I've done both. I've done both. I criticized, condemned, and complained for three years and lost 1.3 million. And I was like, hey, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. And now I'm more encouraging, more supportive and everything changed. When you, if you listen to Craig's story, he didn't think it was gonna work. He assumed if he was nicer or more encouraging or more understanding, he even said it, I'm expecting to have a dip in production. The funny thing is the, the opposite happened.